All right, um, today we're gonna talk about something about angle bisectors. Uh, it's a very common configuration in triangles, um, very elementary, but there's something interesting. Um, a angle bisector, very often it could be associated with some sort of a isosceles triangle if we add some parallel lines. And here's what I mean. So this is the angle bisector AD. Okay, so this angle you call this angle, AD bisects angle BAC. And then I think everybody knows the angle bisector theorem, uh, which says AB divides AC equals DB divides DC. Okay, a very nice pair of ratios. And if you try to think uh, how was that proved, um, one common way to do that is you add a parallel line. CE is parallel to AB, all right? So you extend AD to a point E such that CE is parallel to AB. Now this angle equal this angle because of the parallel, CE parallel to AB. But then this angle also equal this because AD is angle by sector, right? So you have this angle equal this one. Isosceles triangle, right? Triangle ACE is isosceles, right? And seeing an isosceles triangle, it makes me wonder the little theorem that we learned, what did it say? It will give us AC square minus CD square, right? Equals DA times DE, okay, right? Take a look. And let's try to put the, um, all the ratios in play as well, okay? The um, uh, angle bisector theorem give us some ratios, right? Now let's see, um, DA, times DE, but DE equals DA times what DE over DA is what is CE over AB, which is also AC over AB. So I can write DA times AC over AB, All right? Because DE over DA equals, think about this pair of, um, similar triangles, D over DA equals, for example, CE over AB, but then CE equal AC, right? So it's AC over AB, right? And you can also take a further step that equals CD over BD, right? Everything makes sense right now, okay? Right, you can also directly see that DE over DA equals CD over BD because of this pair of similar triangles, right? Let's put, put these all here so we can see it clearly. So right now I replace DE by DA times AC over AB. Okay, so now the right-hand side becomes DA square times AC over AB, okay? So it's, it makes me want to think that maybe I can calculate DA square. AD square now equals what? AB over AC times AC square minus CD square times AB over AC, right? I'm just moving this term to the left-hand side. And now this term becomes very nice, AB times AC. The second term is CD squared times AB over AC, CD, C and CD, and then all the AB and AC. Uh, it makes me want to replace AB over AC by BD over CD, right? AB over AC equals BD over CD, right? The angle bisector 
theorem. So, okay, AB times AC minus what? CD times BD. And that's the main result I wanna talk about today. Take a look. What is it saying right here? AD square. This is the angle bisector. It's square equals AB times AC, the two legs product minus this times that, the two segments, the product of the two segments. It's a very nice result and very simple and relatively easy to remember. Let's put it this way. angle by sector length, all right? So in a triangle, right? Angle by sector is drawn. D is on the, on the side of BC. Then we immediately have this result, all right? AD square equal AB times AC, the two legs of the triangle, minus DB times DC. Right, it takes us uh, a step further from the angle by sector, by sector theorem. Now we can not just talk about, not only talk about the ratios, but also we can calculate the length of this angle by sector. That's interesting, right? So let's see some example, okay? So imagine, let's take a look at this problem. Let's solve, solve it together. There's a triangle ABC. Um, AB equal four, AC equal six, BC equal five. All right, and we draw angle by sector. Meets BC at point D. All right, our typical setting right here, angle by sector here. What's the length of um, AD? All right, from the formula, we know that AD squared supposedly equal AC times AB minus B D times CD, right? The two sides product minus the two you no know, segments product. All right, so, and this is we know, right? Six times four minus BD times CD uh, seems like, I don't know what's BD, I don't know what's CD, but do I, should I know that? If you look at it, this is a three to two ratio, right? We know the angle bisector theorem tells us that um, AC over AB equals CD over BD, right? Which equals three over two. So suppose I think this is three and two, right? Take a look, because it has to match the ratio, right? And the sum, the two segments add up to five, so it must be three and two. Okay then, must be three times two. 24 minus six, 18. So AD equals three square root of two. All right, interesting, right? Remember this result, okay? And I'll see you next time.